Okay, this little pattern is another of my favourites. Um, I was a fair bit of a novice when it came to soft hackles when I came to Arkansas. I weren't a huge part of the huge part of the Tasmanian fishing program. So this is my tail, what I call my tailwater soft hackles. Um, whether or not it truly is mine is a moot point. I've been tying them for a while in this manner. Uh, I don't think I was necessarily the first, but there's a buddy of mine who was tying them as well. Anyway, start off 120Y, size 15, wide gape. Keep using this hook, don't I? Okay, take that thread down a little way down the bottom, down the uh, size 70 red thread. The colour choice we're going to be doing this time is going to be red and yellow. I'm just going to trim out this is some UTC 140 red. Grab my other spool, excuse me, reaching across. Okay. I can't do that as I normally would do, hold it in my mouth. UTC, sorry, ultra wire, hot yellow, so small. Ultra wire, red, if I can get that up there. That's where you can see. Without tilting your head too much. Try red small. I just wanted to soft tackle with a little bit more weight for the way I fish it. Fish a little more actively. Just take my glasses off just so I can see what's going on here a little better. Okay. Let's try and draw this down so we get a nice even underbody here. I could pinch these in, but I'm trying to keep my fingers out of the road. Alright, tips is about where we want the thorax to start. So we're going to cover all manner of sins down there. One on each side, have them together. Pull them back, we're going to a material clip. Run our thread down to the belt. Just in front of the barb. Back forward. Just a little more thread. Alright, finish it. So we've got a nice even underbody. Pretty even. Draw our two, fire, two wires together. Okay, make sure they're not twisted when you get started. Just do a simple turn. And now we've put them up together. Okay, so I started selling these at the Beaver Dam store a few years back under a different name at the time. Tailwater seemed to sound more appropriate. And when I first started tying them, I was, I was using much heavier wire to get them down. I was using two strands of two strands of just a little twist in here. Not quite paying enough attention to what I was saying. Okay. Just unthread them, and away we go. I was tying them in brassy, which gave a much heavier body, much more defined segmentation. But you can see, here's a nice neutral body. Has some weight, so it will sink down. Fish these mainly in low water. Okay, come to where we are. Just come over that line. The end of the wire it was like that one turn. Put in, trim these off. Some people will berate me for no doubt for using my scissors. They have plenty of scissors and they know I'll go a little sharp them. Okay. Next step, which I threw away, next essential item. Okay, Prism SLF. This is the peacock colour. Just pull some out of here. You're going to need a very small thread. It's very sparkly, good, bright. Fits in with the rest of this fly because they're not exactly quiet, if you know what I mean. Anyway, we'll tie this one as you see in the recipe, attached recipe. Okay, a little small rope. 
I use a lot of dubbing. It's a little thick, actually. Push that up to the... Uh, just a little small bowl. This has plenty of room. I'm just going to leave it a little hairy so I can do the cream. No harm in doing that. Okay. Next step. Grab your partridge. Pull a feather. Now, there's a bit of a divided argument here. Some people like the little half. Like it's stripped. But basically what we're going to do is if you can actually see this. So I'm going to establish my tie-in point by pulling back the fibres on either side. I'm not going to strip one side. So when I started tying this, mine were kind of scrappy. They didn't even have the thorax, basically because I would mess up the thorax every time. You can see what I've done here. Just separated those fibres. Got that little point going forward. That's that tie-in point. Pull the fibres back. Try not to drop them as I just did. Drop them again. But I think I can manage this time. Just run a little loop over there. Yep. Okay. It's harder when you're trying to keep your fingers out of the road. Right, this time I'm not going to worry about it. Right. Oh. It's also harder when that side of the fly is in extreme darkness with my hands there. Probably should have the light off my other shoulder. I'm just going to trim off the butt sections. Pull the thread back to the thorax. Now, as I was saying, some people will like this tied. It's a choice up to you. you know, after all, there is no rules. But Davy Watton uh, helped me a lot with this pattern when I decided to put it into the Mountain River Fly Shop. Well, not that I actually knew I needed help. <laughs> I'm going to laugh at that. But they took what was a fairly rough and ready pattern and made it kind of pretty. Okay. At this point, looks like hell. But you can just straight this back, make sure your fibers are all nicely aligned. Right. Then a couple of fail here, but I've got that's what's not looking so good. Just my trim wasn't all that good. Okay. Got our fibers aligned. Then we're just gonna wrap it. Till we get them placed. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hear my bobbin squeaking. Okay. A little whip finish. Just to build a little neat head. Nice small head. They say it's a mark of a good fly tie. Now probably a little scanty on this side. But it's not going to blame it too much. But there you have it. There's the tie water soft tackle. Nice simple little tie. I'll move this around without having too many wobbles for you. Uh, green and yellow, copper and copper. Uh, Teresa suggested black and light, black and silver, so we're doing black and silver. Uh, pink, which is Beck's fly, my beautiful wife's fly. And these do work pretty well. Green and yellow, red and yellow is probably one of my favourite in a lot of tail waters, but green, yeah, green and yellow is kind of surpassing it. Uh, fish this in a fairly long leader, put it out in front of the fish, let it move up and down through the water column, that little bit of weight will help it just flutter down, swing it back to the surface, it'll catch fish. Cheers.